here's the practice video for Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, which uses three chords. The C chord, which is played by putting your first finger on the first fret of the B string, which is string number two, and strumming strings three, two, and one. And also the G chord, which is played by putting your third finger on the third fret of the E string and strumming strings three, two, and one. And the third chord is the D7 chord which is played by using your first finger on the first fret of the B string, your second finger on the second fret of the G string, and your third finger on the second fret of the E string. And you're gonna strum strings three, two, and one. So using your lyric sheet, we start on a G chord. strumming once for every single chord change. Now, I don't know if you heard, but in my voice, that um, key, which is the key of G, uh, is too low for my singing voice. So that's where the capo comes in. So I might sing this song uh, with the capo on the fourth fret, which would be the key of B. But with the capo, I can use the same um, chord shapes and the same fingerings, but now it's going to be in a higher key for my singing voice. So there's that G chord. There's the C. And there's the D7 shape. So the purpose of the capo is to really move um, songs into keys that are good for singers while keeping the chord shapes the same as if we were in um, the, this regular open position.